fetch your ball, Johnny. Hey, I just got in yesterday. I didn't expect no brass band or anything like that, but at least a call me va. What makes you think you got the right, you son of a... What? What'd you say? What makes you think he'll talk to you? First, you let God have man Valachi. Like hell. I want to promise a solitary of this knife goes right through his neck. Look, I can't stop him going in the hole if he wants it. Okay. You got your promise, buddy. Come on, come on. Cooking? Maybe you think it's poison? Well, listen, I want a meeting with Vito Genovese. If Mr. Genovese wants to see you, he'll let you know. All right, then. I want to talk to a lawyer. Sure. Why not? Tomorrow, after exercise. You telling me it's easier to talk to my lawyer than it is to Don Vito? I got swear to. Joseph Sop, you mean? You hit the wrong guy, Valachi. Sop's a check forger from Alabama. No connection whatsoever with your people. 
I'm telling you, Salerno tried to kill me. A dope charge, and now a homicide. Don't give me protection, there's gonna be more. You let an animal talk like that? No wonder we've got trouble in our prisons. Who the hell you calling an animal? You got a better word for it? Father an alcoholic, two brothers in insane asylums, two others killed in a gunfight with the police? Screw you! I don't need nobody else climbing on my back and you leave my family out of it, you hear me? I hear you got me real scared. Who the hell are you? Brian, federal board. Oh, big deal. I seen you someplace, I know you. I know you. So, you want to dance? I want to talk. I ain't a talker. Like to bet? Did you hear what happened to your friend Tony Bender? Who? Tony Bender. He's an underboss of Vito Genovese. That's who. He's disappeared. You call lost and found yet? Word is out. Rat. Vito, what happened? Bindi was there at the dockside. Jovalashi, Tony Bender. Salerto cut his lock. He was dropped, but I hear he's doing fine. The only two that got away were Tony Bender and Joe Valachi, capish? They rats. An open contract. No price. Anybody sees him, they can have him. Vito Genovese. Nice voice. Mickey Mouse. Want to hear the punchline? Genovese thinks you set them up to get busted. I'm the only guy can save your life now, Valachi, but I'm gonna wanna know about Genovese, his drug operation. Why don't you ask your friend? He knows a model prisoner when he sees one. Okay. Walla, looks like we got ourselves another short-sighted, mobbed-up punk. I told you. Take him back to the can and not solitary anymore. If he meets up with a knife on the way, send him a dozen roses with my compliments. You want to tell me something? Yeah. Screw you. Come on, Valachi. Where are you taking me? You've been asking enough. This time he's ready to see you. Genovese? Mr. Genovese. Mr. Valachi. Don Vitoni. Joseph, I think he talked. What do you mean? What is a mother? He disappeared. Hell, Tony was a sick guy. To have to take orders from a sick guy like that, Joseph, can be a very bad experience. So, gives him the orders, huh? Listen, Bender promised me a deal for five years. I pulled 15. Now, they're gonna give me life. Bender was wrong. All I know is he tells me about some narcotics job, and suddenly there's cops all over the place. Then he's arrested, Frank's arrested, so I heard too. Then I find out you're arrested. I figure, what the hell's this world coming to? That's what I'm asking you, Joe. All this time, I don't know anything. Nothing. After my 30 days in quarantine, I enter the population, and he tries to take me. I say, I gotta see you. 
once I see the right man, maybe I'll know what the hell's going on around here. And because you're the only one who can put a stop to them. Joe, sometimes I have a barrel of apples, and one of these apples stings. So it has to be removed, or it stings up the rest of the apples. Capish? If I've done something wrong, Don Vito, it's short to me. And leave me the pills, I'll take them in front of you. Who said you did anything wrong? Il bacio della morte. for Joe Valachi. That's the worth. All that's for my protection, huh? Hell no, it's for mine. This and looked out a window in months. That's very expensive, Alachi. Of course, you all you know. For a start, take a look through these mug shots. What the hell's a hurry? I want this over the sooner the better. Place and date of birth. Place and date of birth. September 22, 1903. School. I went to the 7th grade. After 7th grade. Hey, what the hell is this? Some who's who kind of... I thought we were going to get Genovese. Talk, Falachi. After the 7th grade, I worked on a sandbox. For one of your potato breads. The O'Brien Brothers, 30 South Street. So far, you're batting a thousand. What? You ever finished school? Yeah, didn't you? Where? Sing Sing. Tall, 
light of evil, Achi. I hate a liar. I never saw him before. Okay. The cat looks after you. Tony Benz is a strong arm for Mr. Maranzano. We gotta be careful now that Masseria man. Uh, I don't know what the hell all this crazy war talk is about. In my gang, the gang I got, everybody's pals. Joe, the boss has been moving in on Maranzano. A nice pal. Some mustache Pete from the old country. Sometime I'm gonna tell you about my outfit. Very big, huh? You got a lot of men working here. Yeah. I got seven guys. They call us the Minute Men because it only takes us a minute to pull a job. And it takes the cops two minutes, maybe more, to show. And what do you do? You go out and throw milk cans at windows? Bender's boss has 400 guys in his gang. Most of them torpedoes. And that mustache Pete you were talking about. Let's see, he's got 600. As the paper says, there's a war on. Guys from Sicily, guys from Naples. Anytime you want to mob up, ask for the Gap. Paradise Restaurant. Time's changed, Joey. And awful fast. The Gap was sure right. Times were changing. One week out of Sing Sing, I got a tip on a silk this factory in Michael Cooper. So I pick up a couple Irish guys to fill in part of my gang that's been arrested. And away we go. All right, lady. Let's have your dough. And your watch. What the hell's the matter with you? Why? I can't on a job and you act like a... Stupid bastard. You know, the police had radios. They cut my time in less than a minute. in trouble? I'm on the... I got eyes. Come on. I told you. I met that guy in Sing Sing. Who is he? A friend of Gap's. Who is he? A friend of Gap's. They met him in Sing Sing. Why is wet? Mr. Maranzano wants to know why he's wet. I don't know why he's wet. Why is he wet, Cap? I don't know. You don't know why he's wet. Oh. Salute. <laughs> you gentlemen are look for something. Sorry to disturb you, Mr. Maranzano, but... Did you see a man come in here dripping wet? He had a horn, sir. Like this? <laughs> <laughs> nice. a wet man. What, what did he do? Uh, he tried to rob a silk shop. We chased him a couple blocks. Racked up one of our cars. Ditched his in the river and got away. I sincerely regret I have not met with such a man. Well, if you do. What do you think? 
I give him a job. Good night, officer. Good night, sir. The first contract I worked on was to hit a guy named Steve Farino. He's one of the lieutenants who worked for Joe DeBoss. Farino, we were on to him. At least five killings. Bender got me to rent an apartment, same place where Farino lived. On Pelham Parkway. One month's rent. A different name. Across the courtyard. First floor up. Well, I call attendant. Like I said, I got a tip off. They moved in there last week. Make some coffee, will you, Gap? Sure. I'll make coffee, spaghetti, meatballs, anything. You expect a little music or what? You look musical. You think so, huh? Oh, uh, Buster. Why don't you go take a look and see if the view is right from there? That's no problem. Buster from Chicago. Go easy with him. To date, nine killings. Oh, yeah? Da, 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 da. Still looks musical to me. Hey, Tony, this one's gonna be easy. Hey, none of my business. But I rent this apartment. If he shoots him from there, they trace it to me. Now everybody's seen me. The neighbors, the doorman. Okay. We'll use this place as a stakeout and we'll hit him from somewhere else. Staircase, window, corridor, any place. So? Come on, Joe. You go upstairs. The corridor outside Farina's apartment. And give us the sign when they come in. Oh. Uh, you got those pictures? Yeah. Here's a little homework to memorize. Joe Masseria and family. I never knew anybody could have such an organization. Masseria's outfit went as far west as Chicago with Capone. And how in hell Maranzano ever expected to destroy Joe the boss? That was beyond me. Hold it! What floor you on? Punch yours. and these other two. These other two. Luciano and Genovese? Oh, it's not possible. Yeah. Oh, no, non possible. Yeah. Non they got on the elevator with me. I pretended I was going to the third floor. They went up to the sixth. Come and take a look. They pretended to go to the sixth. Full house. Must be having a meet. Easy aces. What the hell? Why don't we cross over that side and take Farino in the back? Hey, Mr. Bender, if you asked me, why didn't you take them all? You and I can hit him from the top. And Gap, you can take him from the downstairs. But they're all up there in that one room. All you have to do is spray the place. You want to be the boss? Okay. I make a call to Mr. Marizzano. 
Keep him quiet, Cap. I'm getting restless. Boy, oh boy. You ought to think it over, Mr. Bender. You're only the wheelman, Capiche. When I give the word, you bring the back out to the front. Until then, I don't want to hear another word out of you. Please. Why do you talk? Let him drive, Tony, huh? I want to know why he said boy like that. Joey, why do you say boy like that? Because we really had a chance to hit. Here we have three five. Look, Sean, I can't obey. Say, told the boss. What the hell is wrong with you, Ben? Huh? <laughs> Only the new guy. He has a thought. Why you didn't listen? You said hit Perino. So we hit Perino. I believe in initiative. 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 What organization? It means anything without its people. Have initiative. Eh? Velasco, he's a good driver. Of course he is. You said, uh, get the best. I get the best. You got a suit to tie? Sure, Mr. Manzano. Go ahead. Come back to ours. Yes, sir. Hey, I swear by this man, Tony Ben, you understand? He was right to do the wrong thing. He was thinking what's good for the organization. But you were a little more right, eh? From this day on, Jovalat, you live by the knife and the gun. You die by the knife and the gun. Throw a finger from one to five. Huh? Well, Drew, Cayetano Reina is an Ayo Gomba. He is responsible for you. If you have a problem, you see him. With the water finger, you shoot. Give me your hand. With the spilling of the blood that drove a lot, we are now one family. Dame la carta. Repeat after me in the language of our fathers, or otherwise in English. Così morirò. This is the way I will die. If I betray the secret of the Cosa Nostra. come il fuoco dell'inferno. It will burn like the fires of hell. mia lingua parlerà come Giuda. If my tongue speaks like Judas. This being a time of war, I make it short. Two things the most important to remember. First, 
To betray secret of Cosa Nostra means death without trial. Second, to violate any member's wife the same. And never use a violence with anyone in the family. We help you. Because it is now your family. Your job is to be a personal driver for my underboss, Gaetano Reina. He's a fine man worthy of respect. We are here together because Joe Massaria has a sentence us to die. So now, whether from Castella Mara or not, we are all one. Today, what happened at the Pelama Parkway has got them confused. They don't know how we discovered their meat. So now we concentrate to get their main bosses, Lucian or Genovese, but the most important, Thomas Aria himself. He say he will make no deal with us. So until we kill him once and for all, the war, it goes on and on forever. Spender, you missed one. The same afternoon we hit Dino Roselli and Peter Brown Eyes Elioni. Next day, we took uh, Charlie Ansaldo. He had a nice car. It's a shame we had to spoil it. It's Frankie Barretta, the enforcer, they call him. Nice day's work. Sometimes, it was straight, forward, and easy. No sweat. We'll let Masseria come in and take over our machines. Mr. Maranzano won't like that. I didn't want no trouble. You know the number you have to call. We're ready to service our machines day and night. Unless you want to change your supplier, huh? Okay, Joe, put back the Maranzano stickers. Like that, my dear friends, you can sleep better nights. That right, Charlie? Tell me, who came calling? Who was it left his card? You don't have to talk. You only have to deny it was Carlo Torrico. Carlo Torrio is a nice boy. So nice there. And with him, Johnny Golf Bag Ponty, Sam Petrelli. But these were our boys who were getting it also. Johnny Bono, Pete Gianola. Somehow we managed business as usual. Oh, that was big of you. Well, sometimes you guys give us a little help yourselves. Uh, only two cases. That's all. When do we get some more? Next week. All right, break it up. Screw you, mister. This is a hundred bucks worth of damage. Okay, mister, break it up. You can see yourself. I got so as I knew of every bank in the city. Before, I could do the Bronx with my eyes closed. Now, it's like I'm very capable of Wall Street, too. 128 napkins, 43 tablecloths. Well, they say they served only 73 dinners. Some people ain't none. Shay Aldo. Second time they gave us the wrong count. Someday we go beat them on the head. Hey, 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 
Can't you see this is private? Move, move. Next time, the right count. Understand? Tomorrow, when I call you, have the counted money ready. Remember, very reasonable, Valachi. What are you talking? We were dealing straight, and they wasn't. I mean, for instance, take the fish market. This guy told me, uh, uh, I forgot his last name. He paid for protection. And some of Maserati's hunkies start to lean on him pretty good. He gives us a call. We deliver. Just like the cavalry and the Boy Scouts, Valachi. Like the cavalry and the Boy Scouts. You know, we hit nearly 35 of Maserati's men the first couple of months. The Castellamaris he wore, they called it. And Joe, the boss, was going to get every guy from Castellamar. Any guy who was Sicilian, that is. Must have been bad for business. It's terrible. You are my husband, driver. You are Joseph Valachi. Yes, ma'am. Papa. Remember this, Maria. Always he lived with death. Always he wait for this to happen. I have learned to wait with him. Many good men are dead. These killings, very bad for everything. With all respect for the widow, we did not seek this war. Oh, Sancho, Mr. Luciano. Nobody sent him. It's true, Mr. Luciano. Like he said. 
Salvatore. We're from the same country. And now we've come to kill each other far from home. It's our people who died. The blood of our blood. And with the cops on our tail. It's hurting all the business. So even if Joe Masseria doesn't want to talk about peace, Mr. Maranzano, we do. I'll Joe Masseria live. No peace. Believe me when I tell you I held your husband in the highest respect. My condolences. Harry. They want somebody to start something. He's nuts. Charlie Lucky and Genovese said they came for peace. And one day at Scarpitos in Coney Island, they set out to prove it. How about a game of cards, Mr. Masuria? Yeah. We play tres Oh, I have to go to the gym. Vito, there's a deck in the car. Why don't you go get it? Someone should uh, call the police. So that's how Joe the boss died. We never know for sure. Is that so? Well, don't expect me to do no more talking. Anyhow, I'm tired and I'm going to get some rest. Sit down. What the hell we are you We got doing? a lot more talking to do. Refrigerator, and like I said, I'm not talking anymore. My rules, Vermaggi. You want to start here or go back to where you met my guest? What happened after Mazzaria's death? What the hell's that got to do with Genovese? Ryan, I want to get Genovese. My rules. All right, we got organized. Organized? Yeah. And the Borgatas. Territories. Big deal, you know Italian. That make you an honorary what? One territory for each family. That's right. And all the families were responsible to the capo de capo. The boss of all the bosses. And it is uh, with humility I accept uh, this uh, title. But as a father, I'm also obliged to remind you that all of us here are in a foreign country. And if we... Don't help each other like a brothers. Nobody will. While we were killing others outside, we were making their moves. 
the Irish man, they own the politician, the Jews are like left, the Shapiro, they tie up the government stand, they're in the unions, and the Dutchmen, they beat us to the numbers. So what we do? We see still, we hear them. We hear them. You're right, Anastasia, but first, uh, we prepare ourselves. From now on, we divide to form new families. Each of our God will have capo, a boss, uh, Soto Capo under boss, and then it comes a lieutenant under them. It's a so nice done. setup, like an army. Yeah, except their own guys on the top. In each city will be one family. I already spoke with our friend John Giannoli in St. Louis. Capone will be in. Sam Carole in New Orleans. And the Borelli in Detroit. Only here, in New York, will be different. Because we are so many, we'll be five families. Charlie Luciano will have one, Tom Dayano another, and the others will be under Joe Profaci, Joe Buona, and Vince Mangano. Think of it that we will provide the service for the public. Everything what the public wants, women, the best. To gamble, the horse, the numbers, everything with the public wants, and we give them a fair deal. Everything except la droga. The drug, it can destroy all, all of what the progress we make. Sure. Now you remember. Afterwards, we go and get laid. And remember, what happened in the past is finished. If your own brother was killed in this war, you don't look to find out who did it to get in. You do. You pay with your life. From now, it's forgive, forget for my family. You soldiers want to see my sotto capo. You see Tony Bender. Now I pick for my bodyguard the gap. There goes my spare time. And for my driver, I pick a Joe Valarci. Congratulations, Joe. Thanks. You have a question? Very good. Yes. Very good. How will this hey. just know what the Either we meet somewhere before? Well, there is an unnatural connection. You would I don't see. remember, but nice to meet you. If you Fine. are a client, with the help of a god, let us bring the success to ourselves. And to this thing of ours, great honor. Honorimo Cosa Rossa. Capita singula, predere nomine distribui. From the capture it spoils, he distributes the one to each of the soldiers of the army. It's from Giulio Cesare. That's the way you learn the real command. Everything I learn, I learn from Caesar. No kidding. You remember what the Caesar say when he destroy the tyrant for Narcissus. Oh, can't say I do, Mr. Maranzano. It, it slips me. He say, Veni, vidi, vici. I came, I saw, I conquered. I came, I saw, I conquered. Oh, that's terrific. Hmm. Never know when a line like that might come in handy. Buonasera. Teresa. Mr. Maranzano. Yes, when I was starting to be a priest. Oh, yeah, I heard that someplace, Mr. Maranzano. What kind of language is this? Oslo Crisis. It's in Greek. Greek? You speak Greek? 
I speak certain language. Uh, Mr. Morizano, who are all those guys? Oh, this is a Caesar as the high priest of Jupiter. This is a Caesar as a Roman consular. And this is a Caesar as a dictator and architect of a Roman Empire. Oh, would you remind me, boys? Tomorrow I have a meeting with the Genovese and Luciana. I want you both to be there, eh? Huh? In case. Maybe we don't make uh, arrangements. Eh? They betray their own boss. If you was a boss, uh, you trusted them? Why didn't you break up the family at the meet? They would start another war. I don't know yet who's on their side. But tomorrow I find out. You don't tell anyone, yes? Good. I don't like guns in my office, but tomorrow... And tomorrow, Tony Bender, he picked me up at half past one. Uh, you meet me in the office uh, a little before two, eh? Yes, sir. And here, yeah, read his book, uh, Roman Civil War, in English. Thanks, Mr. Mazzaro. Uh, <clears throat> don't I get a book? Some men are born to read, some not. Oh. You found me out, Mr. Maranzano. Some things are hard to find out, some not. Good night. Good night, Good night Mr. Maranzano. Bet you can get five bucks for that book. The leather alone. What the hell's the matter with you? It's a present from him. I don't read so good, but I'm going to try. For him? Tell me all about it when you finish, please. You got a for a brain. So I'm a genius. What can I do? Open up, open up. Yeah, yeah. It's about time. Venny, Vidi, Vici, kiddo. Jane, Mary Lou, meet you. Hi, Joe. Hi. Greetings. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Must be in Marilyn Zino's office, too. Don't worry. The meeting's called off. Mary Lou, make breakfast on him. Boy, am I hungry. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Relax. Tony Bender will tell you. Better get rid of that chin, you know. Lay off, Jane. <laughs> Baby, I'm ticked. Hello, Tony. One second. Tony, hi. The meeting's canceled. Yeah, I'll let you know when he'll manage. Have a swell time. Yeah, okay. Take it off, Jane. Hey. Right. Me, Jane, you, Tarzan. Oh! <laughs> hey, hey. Okay, Mr. Maranzano. What's the letter? Remember, you and the mad dog, you wait. The drugstore telephone. I give the order, you hit the... no maze. Or we go back on the mattress again, eh? I hope you don't decide to call it off. Genovese's boys took my brother. Palazzi, the gap, they're late. On their way over. I just got through talking to them. I don't like they're late. When they come in, send them in. Yes, sir. Well, what have we got here? Mad Dog Cole and Steph Salerto out for a walk? There's a law against that. Move. Try me. I'll cover him. Where's Maranzano? Sit down. That's what I ask. What do you want? You got a warrant? Let me see. You know cops. No guns, come on.
So who really killed Maranzano? I guess you could say it was Luciano and Genovese. They hired the Bugsy Siegel boys to pose like cops. Hey, when those phony cops stops alert when Mad Dog Cole, they were on their way to do the same thing to Luciano and Vito. Uh, matter of timing, I guess. We always call him Lucky Luciano. Yeah, yeah, go on. First, I eat something. Okay, Valachi, you've had your new toys, I promise you. I'm in a hurry, so let me remind you. Maybe you're 99% safe. That doesn't mean your wife is. Or your kid, what's his name? You. Magician, Valachi. You start talking, or I'll pull some more rabbits out of the hat like these. Letters from home, maybe. You hold back letters for my wife? Oh, it's nice to know you care. Do you care about their safety as well? I want to guarantee they'll be safe. That's up to you, Velocci. Now, I was asking you. All right. After Marmanzano, there was no more Capo de Capi. Just Luciano. The Mangano boys, Profaci, Benuto Galliato. The underbosses were Genovese, Anastasia, Charlie Calesi, and the three Franco boys. The lieutenants were Johnny Gardina, Tony Bender, Mick Moratti, and Joe Donis. You heard him. Good. Okay. Now, after Maranzano's murder, which family did you go with? What kind of dummy are you? After the murder, I ran. You remember me? I'm Joe Valachi. Yes, I know. They shot Mr. Marmons, I know. And your husband was my goomba, so I... Come on. Come in. Be careful, Mrs. Rainer. These steps, they're pretty steep. Sneak out and get something to eat. Uh, even the windows have eyes. Hey, yeah. And Joe Profacci is my brother. Joe Profacci is your brother? Mm. And he always eat here. I see what you mean. Thanks, Mrs. My husband would do the same. He was a good man. Those pictures really told me a lot about Maria. You know, I never knew a kid could do all those things. I mean, have all those hobbies when I was a kid. I was just Joe Cargo. Cargo? Yeah, because I used to make these carts out of soap boxes. Cargo, get it? 
You know, I hardly knew my father. Only saw him when we went on trips. But I did have a lot of respect for him. Oh, me too. Everybody had respect for your father. Even the men that killed him? Oh, sure, they had respect. <sighs> you really are a good soldier, aren't you, Joe? I try to be. Maybe it's a feeling you don't understand that I have for these guys. It's like we're all pieces of one another. They make me feel like I belong. Before now, you might say I was a nothing. Sit, finish. Sit down. Maria is no toy, Mr. Valacci. I wasn't playing with her, Mrs. Rayner. Flora, vai aprire. Come on. Good evening, Mrs. Rand. I'm looking for Joe Valach. I don't know anybody called. He's the guy who's been living in your attic, Mrs. Rand. Mr. Joe Valach. Well, you won, Cap. You, Joey. Put the gun down. It's okay. You're back in the driver's seat. Who says? Come with me. I'll show you. Proof. The proof is I could have shot you in the back a week ago, being a big man on campus, okay? Okay. Andiamo. Charlie, this is Joe Valachi. Ask him what he wants. Right now, I'd like... Uh, we talked it over. He and the Gap want to go partners on the numbers and the slot machines. Give him 20 machines. Uh, but uh, for the numbers, they need a bankroll. Okay. Hand them 10 Gs. Mr. Luciano is giving you 20 machines. His own labels. That means no police interference and the credit for your month. You plan them... Pay us 50% and they are yours. Any problem, talk with Tony Bender. He's your lieutenant. That's pretty good. I already got a few places picked out in East Harlem. Thanks, Mr. Mr. Genovese. Bye, Charlie. Oh, wait a minute. I got a call from Joe Profaci, brother of Gaetano Reina's widow. According to him, Valachi has been seen the daughter, and it's not stated his intention. Can I talk? Yeah. I gotta be straight. I don't know nothing about my intentions, but I sure would like to marry that girl. Very fine. A nice Italian girl, and the good blood doesn't go wasted. Yeah, but the mother, she thinks I'm a nobody. Not now, she won't. Now you're the one of the family. Paid for. Cash or with the credit? <clears throat> cash. <laughs> I always pay cash. I got a receipt. No need, no need. Ottimo, veramente. 
assolutamente ottimo. My friend and I, withering to the gracious ladies of this house. <coughs> to the gracious ladies. It's time for me to speak. I speak now for the future, not for the past, which has sometimes been uh, unhappy. From today, Donna Letizia, I wish to be your friend. For friendship is everything. Friendship... Friendship is more than beauty, more than talent, more than government, more than anything except the family. And perhaps one day, Donna Letizia, you and uh, your fine daughter may have need of friendship, need of a friend. A friend rather than a lawyer who will lead you in circles and take your money. Or the police who will end up only by offending and upsetting you. And if such a day should come, I trust that you will turn to me a friend of Joseph Valachi, a member of your family, and the man who's a friend can be counted among those who have respect, not only in the city, in this country, but beyond the seas. Donna Letizia, I await your answer. You'll never know today what you just did. I know any time you give an order, that's it. But if ever there's something special... Maybe there is something special. I want you and Gap to make a hit. A special hit. I think our friend's gonna recover. As a matter of fact, he's gone already. Natural causes, I hope. Oh, yeah, you might say that. Short at your breath. Sit down, boys. Vito, I don't think you ought to stay. No lights. Mm. Relax. Tonight I want to see the show. Special hit. When you keep me on the corner, just wait for you. Venus de Milo was noted for her charm. But simply between us, I'm cuter than Venus. And what's more, you're on. Let's go cuddle in the corner. Cozy little corner Love that's just around the corner And I'm around you
Jesus. Just want to drink a toast to Joseph and Maria. Happiness, long life, and male children. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How about some nice gifts, folks, huh? To set up this tremendous couple, huh? Strunza del vicende, credina, pezza di merda che non sai fare il tuo lavoro. Ma che cosa stavi pensando? Rispondi, mi sarebbe. Stai zitto, schiudi tutto. Schiudi The service is lousy. People are waste. Non finisci. Behave yourself, Albert. Oh, we won't let you out at night. It's just I don't like you people crowded me. Miss Valacci. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck, Valacci. Long life to the bottom of self drink. You showed you should got taste. Thank you, Mr. Lucio. Shall we get the cake, honey? Sure. Sure, sure. Uh -huh. Sorry, please. Hold it. Hey, Joey. You remember these friends of ours? Hey, what's the matter with him? He didn't recognize you with your clothes. Uh -huh. Lucky Luciano became the boss. Nah, he appointed a commission, a kind of board of directors. Was he a good leader? Better than Maranzano? I was doing okay, so I guess he was good. How okay? Well, I was pulling 2,500 a week on the slots. Well, and this new DA, he gets a hold of Luciano and gives him 30 years for running cat houses. Can you believe it? I figured that was a frame, because Lucky wasn't a pimp. So after Maranzano, there was Luciano. Then? Genovese. But before we knew it... Benedetto! Could you come here a moment, please? Ciao. Yes, Mr. Hewitt? It's official. We'll have the court order in half an hour. Hear it. Hear it. It's the only name I hear these days. Hear that. I'd like to have one shot to help me. I'd nail him myself. Now. Do you have my bags? Give me a minute, huh? You don't get a minute. Calm down, Albert. Valachi's driving me to the docks. Then I'd better bring the car around now. What can get you for, Vito? Everything's legitimate. Legitimate. He figures somebody has to be minding the store now that Charlie Luck is gone. And he figured me. You ought to know, Albert. Even if they nail you on a technicality, they still nail you. Take it. Take it. Where's his tickets, Tony? In your coat pocket, Vito, honey. You just saw up the courts and keep the politicians grease. I'm seeing Naples and Marseille. When I come back, we'll have a whole network for drugs. I want to walk across that border. But we don't need the drugs, Vito. Even Charlie Lucky to me. me. Ah. Uh, Vito, you've got to get out of here. Albert. I want a good report. You make it nice and easy when I return. Capish? Darling, anything you want, you talk with Albert and you will get Jesus, it. Jesus, will you go already? All right, all right, all right. Good report, huh? Come on. Uh, at least I don't have to see any unemployment in Italy. My good friend, Benito Mussolini, he could talk some sense into the Roosevelt. Well, ciao, everybody. Ciao, caro. Well, I guess that makes me the boss. But Genovese stayed in Italy till after the war, so the drug thing didn't get started until 46 or 47. You tired? Think I talked too much. Too much, too much. Well, then let me go on for you. In the war, you were a loan shark. You muscled in on one of your customers. A guy named Matty ran the Prospect Dress and Negligee Company. Is that enough for you? 
for you so that uh, local 25 didn't bother you as long as you stayed in the Bronx. So now you are a legitimate businessman. You bought into the old Paradise Restaurant. Did all your Shylocking there, had all your gas ration stamps there. Big profits. You bought a new house in Yonkers on Shawnee Avenue. The house cost 48 grand. Later on, you added five rooms. How much did that cost? 10 grand. The awnings cost 2,500. Then you went into horse races, which is known in the trade as the big fix. I never threw a race. Because that'll be crooked. Your information's so tight, you go ask anybody. My knight's duchess was one of the best horses on the East Coast, and I ran her fair. Starring Margaret O'Brien. Listen, Salerno came to me one day with orders from Tony Bender to throw a race. You think I'd listen? I wouldn't pull that horse. Knowing you to be the sportsman's sportsman, I wonder. You want to hear what I said, or don't you? All right, Falachi, what did you say? Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't pull a horse for Joe. <laughs> Joe, you don't lay a hand on a friend. Those are the rules. It ain't rules to throw a race. You tell Bender he can go to hell. <laughs> you tell him. It's gonna be a table, Joey. It's gonna be a judgment. And not a stash, it's gonna be the judge. Send us Master Z and think! Now everybody knows that Anastasia, he's crazy. With him, it's always kill, kill, kill. Hit him, hit him. Boy, I didn't think I'd have a chance at the judgment. What's wrong with you, Valachi? I'll tell you the way it was. Slur to Shut up! You've been in his life for about 20 years. You should know better than to eat another guy. I know that, but Slur... Slurto... A rule's a rule. Take a swing at one of the family. He said that Tony wanted me to fix a race. You told Valachi to go fix himself? I had 15 grand on that race, Albert. For 15 grand, you tell your own soldier to fix himself? Well, we all done it for less, uh, Albert. One time or another. Not funny. You are gonna pay Valachi 15 grand. I And you owe Salerto an apology. Sure. Hey, Salerto, I'm sorry. That's uh, okay. But, but this is a soul... Shut man. up, Tony. Shut up. Lock your Vito's men. I had the lieutenant talk back. I'd have him meet. Yes, Albert. Now out. All of you. Valachi, Gar. I wanna talk to you. I got a message from Don Vito. Oh, from Italy? Mm-hmm. He's been hearing rumors about Donna. He wants you boys to look after her, starting this evening at the club. Story is she's been screwing around, and I'd like to see her put away. But that's not my business. So forget to ever said it. You understand? You understand? Nobody ever knew why Anastasia was in such a good mood that day. But the one thing he was right about, though, was that girl at Genovese's. She was trouble. So? Good evening, Donna. I'm an agent for uh, Phil Spitalny and his all-girl orchestra. We're looking for a cymbal player. Get the hell out. Actually, I'm your new bodyguard. And I promised Don Vito I wouldn't bite off more than I could. I gotta ask you a question. How can you do it? I mean, physically, w with another dame, huh? I follow the bouncing ball. Boy, oh boy. I'll be out the car. Uh, I mean, looking at it my way, I, I, I can only think <clears throat> of me in the middle. Come back tomorrow, honey. We'll put on a show. Come on, baby Snooks. Get up. Say goodnight to you, Snookums. Donna! Next time, pick on somebody off. my own size. 
Call Eddie. Tell him to throw these bums out. Okay. Baby, you you don't have to worry about the gap. For one thing, I... I, I wouldn't know how to explain it to Don Vito. For another, he'd have you killed. All of a sudden, the sends me a watchdog. Oh, you know how it is, honey. When you have a in heat. <laughs> Okay, folks? Sure. It's all Emily Post, you schmuck. Ain't that right, little flower? That's right. 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 Genovese would come back from Italy. But, uh, you guessed. Hello, darling. Go into the car. Hello, Bender. You look pretty, get them fat. Trying to look our best for you, Don Vito. What are you doing with our friends? Lots of things. Name five. Well, then. Uh, Who do we get to make drug connections? Geez, Don B. Albert's kind of told us to lay off drugs. Hello, Valachi. Don Vito? How's business? I got a restaurant. Some horses. Huh. How many horses you got, Tony? I don't know. You should be your lieutenant. How about you, Gap? What have you been up to? Oh, you know, a couple of numbers. That's what I've been hearing. We shall have to lose a lot of weight around here. Don't like it. A shame Anastasia didn't come to meet me. All right. A lot of time to make up. But I'm no hurry. Even if it takes years. Gotta get back like it was. You are a good friend of the Gaps, aren't you, Joe? Yeah. Know where he is? He's done, Peter. When you see him, give me a call. Sure. Sure. You're involved in this thing too, Joseph. Get out of here with respect. I want to hear that you saw him. Shall I hit the lights, Mr. Valachi? I'll take care of that. You walk the back door on the way out. Good night, Mr. Valachi. Good night. Good night. 
Shootout with Bender. Can you believe it? Oh, with Bender. Hell, Gap. Hold on. Oh, it was hell. crazy. Like, like 30 years ago. It never happened. Oh, I'm supposed to hit you. Do, me, do us a favor. Leave the country. Oh, right on Pelham Parkway. Remember once when we hit Messeria's boys? It's uh, bad for me. It's Joe? bad for my wife and my kid. You just can't believe it, Joe. Jesus, I get off the L, and there they are. Uh, no one for me. I don't want shooting here. It only help the guy just so much. Then you're out of line. <laughs> dum, da dum, dum. Look, Bender. We've been together for, Christ, how many years? 20, 30? At least give me the choice. What choice? Dead is dead. The way you're going to hit me. Want to shoot me? Get it over with. The whole shooting's terrific. You always love playing with guns, eh, Tony? Not having any friends and all? Yeah, i just as soon shoot you again. If it were up to me, I'd say, okay. Whatever you want. But Don Vito wants a present for a girlfriend of his. Jesus Christ, Gail. 
Great. Yeah. I'm going to take you to the hospital. No. Let's go. No. Yeah. No way. Come on. Leave me alone. They're going to fix you up. Come on. The gun. The gun, please. They'll fix you up. Come on, dude. The gun. Joey, the gun. Oh, hell, oh. yep. I told you about that, Brad. You should have stayed away. Jesus. Anything else? The gun. Please. The gun. Joey. Shoot me. Please. Oh, God. Joey. Please. he had the fever. What about the doctor? He said he'd be back in the morning. Sleep. Yeah, that's right, you sleep, boy. Go ahead, sleep. Me and your mom are gonna be right here all the time. Closing in on you again, Joe. You don't tell me I'm wrong. I don't know who the hell side I'm on anymore. It used to be so good. The feeling everybody working together, belonging together. Oh, Joe, once and for all, get out of it. Would your mother ever say that to your father? My father was a lieutenant. Like you said yourself, Joe, things were different in those days. Now, every time you try to build something, they take from it. Some kind of self-respect when somebody's telling you, you how to live your life. You don't know anything about it. I try not to. What the hell's that supposed to mean? Joe, there are days you come in and there are nights. I know your hands have been covered with blood. Does Mr. Genovese or Mr. Bender give you some kind of magical power so you don't feel anything? I never hit nobody that never deserved. Honest to God, Maria. We only hit the guys who cheat on the family. What do you want me to do? You want me to say, hey, Vito, I'm only going to hit the following guys? You can't do that. You see, if you believe in the family, then you fight for it. It's no different than being in the army. Then why are they closing in on you again, Joe? Jesus, I don't know. You don't? Honest, I don't know. That's why I want you to take the boy when he's feeling better and you go to your cousins. And I'll call you after. After what, Joe? After what? Uh, after it's over.
Now I'm gonna tell you why it was necessary to hit doubly. Before I went away, we had an organization, a structure. Everybody had a place. Everybody had a position. Everybody was responsible to everybody. And when I come back, I learned that. Nobody knows what anybody else is doing. Because nobody cares. And when nobody cares, that's how people get fed. That's anarchy! <laughs> Anastasia commercialized this thing of ours. They brought in hundreds because they were willing to pay money for the privilege of belonging. Anybody, a lot of nobodies. But I can only tell you this. I wouldn't pay a nickel to join this outfit. I look upon it, I look upon you, without respect. Shut up! First, I want to see these people out. Get rid of them. Give them back their money. They don't belong. Next. Anastasia was shot because he made a second mistake. I'm talking about drugs. With our influence in the unions, in the courts, and with the cops, we can walk right in and start a deal. I got supplies from China to Mott Street waiting for the word. So, starting right now. Get out, get out, everybody out. Quick, please. Please, get moving. Don't be, come on, hurry. Balachi. Don't be, we gotta get away. Come on, hurry. Where is Balachi? Balachi. Balachi. What the hell's going on? Somebody tipped the cops, Don Vito. I wanted to meet in Chicago, but this. And Megadino said upstate school. It's cool, all right. They disgust me. They got no dignity. I'm not gonna lose my self-respect because of small-time yogurts. from that house as a citizen of the united states i am aware of my rights under the fourth fifth sixth and fourteenth amendments of the constitution unless you have an arrest warrant i can see you for infringing on my rights drive on joe what the hell did he say squeeze you just took it like a dog when they made you kill your best friend after they cut his balls off you just pointed that trigger and called it an act of charity uh what the hell do you know about it and what'd you ever have that was any better nothing watching my parents travel steer it just like yours they went through poverty just like yours i fought every day before during and after school big deal instead of being called a i was a was the difference between us Valachi, is that i stopped spreading my legs yeah yeah. And then you joined Hoover's team as he came Jack Armstrong. All American boy. Screw you, Palachi. I don't have a wife who's going into hiding. I don't have a son who doesn't know who his father is. But I'll check the windows before I leave my house. And if I ever had to kill to save my own neck, I'd make sure I killed the right man. Face a fact, Palachi, you're one dumb You were a snap to break. What? I'm the guy that started squeezing you from the other side. Don't you remember after Appalachian, we were picking everybody up. We got over a hundred guys. Nobody would talk. I still don't get it. What are you talking about? We wanted to know about Vito and the drug operation. I figured we had to start at the bottom. And I'm the guy that sent those two agents to visit you. Yeah.
notice you're enlarging the restaurant. The legal, huh? You got a record. You have to have a license. License ain't in my name. And you won't care one way or the other when it's revoked, will you, Joe? First, you find some tax clause to close my dress factory. Now you hustle me about the restaurant. What have I ever done to you guys? Tell us about the video organization, his drug network, and we'll forget that license. Yeah. Yeah. Everything you know. Don't know anything about Beto, and I don't know anything about any organization. Okay. All you don't know. What is it worth? Five thousand. Fifteen. A piece. Tell them we're closing this place down. Give me a call when you thought it over. Come on, DeSapio. My boys did a good job on you. You thought they were really on the take. Wouldn't be the first time. Some bunch, I'm telling you. Putting a squeeze on a respectable businessman. Oh, sure. Anyway, you didn't have the 30,000, so we guessed where you'd have to go. Bender. I'm in a bind. I need 30 grand by tomorrow. Okay, if you do me a favor. Sure, I'll do you a favor. Give me the docks Monday at 3. Give me. Tony, if you're going to connect with the shipment, and that's where the money is, then I'm going to stick with you. That's how you got into the drug business, Joe. I got to thank the FBI for that, huh? No, I'll give you credit for initiative. I'd rather be driving the car, Tony. Shut up. And let me handle it. The one with the red mark. That's it. OK, take it away. It don't smell good. Shut up. police what do you want got a search warrant search warrant for what narcotics uh, come on come on off my stuff, guys. I'm very neat. He's the slob.
Hi, Gray. Donna. Yeah, what is it? Somebody stashed it. Who was up here? Nobody. Yesterday, Tony Bender and Joe Valachi. Bender. Joe Valachi. It was all too pat. Looked too easy. Good thinking, Joe. I guess it was you. Sort of. We had a tap on your line all the time. It wasn't too difficult to find that the meeting was at the docks. You guys are twice as crooked as we are. Casualties for that. New York City. This morning, government agents arrested Mafia Kingpin, Vito Genovese. Reported to be directing the flow of drugs on the eastern seaboard, Genovese is being questioned about the pre-dawn shootout on Pier 2 in Brooklyn. Police officers state that half a million dollars worth of heroin was seized in Genovese's apartment, and two million five hundred thousand dollars worth was found on the docks. Arrested were Steph Salerto, Vincent Mauro, and Fred Villani. Our news. Tehran University Geophysics Institute. Hello. Hey, Bender. Wakes, the Only at six o'clock in the old lady. Today, about 310 miles west of Tehran. Wakes, one measuring five on the Richter scale to the other four, struck only a few minutes apart at 5 p.m. Wakes, Hey, Maria. Potentially dangerous. Just talk. Say anything. I want to hear your voice. Why, hello, Helen. How are you? I didn't know you were back. We're all fine, honey. Take care of yourself. I could do was drive around until I got through to Bender. My own mind was packed. There was no telling who that picked up. All but Tony Bender. Country. Where? Outside Hartford. What's your number? I'll call you back. It's uh six four two three nine four eight. Boy, there have been so many new guys in the family coming and gone. Could have been anyone squeal. All I thought about was trying to keep cool, keep from getting burned. Somebody set us up. Don Vito says, if he's arrested, wants everybody with him. What kind of crazy order is that? Don't worry. You get off light. It's already arranged. Oh, no, Tony, I'm not taking the rap for somebody else. Therefore, this court sentences Joseph Alachi to the federal penitentiary, there to serve not less than 15 years from this day forth. You give me an appeal. They can stand for five, but if that 15 sticks, I'm not going to do the can alone. You tell Bender that. What do you have to do before you fight back? I told you everything I had to say. Your books are up to date. That's not enough, Joe. Think about Appalachian for a minute. Think about all those heroes running through the woods. Uh, I thought about that a lot. Stand up, for God's sake. Joe, listen, there's a Senate hearing commission. They can make a law. That law will cut them down, prohibit their activities once and for all. But you have to speak, Joe. You have to tell them what you told me. What's in it for you? The same thing that's in it for you, uh, a kind of a peace. You want to stay in hell, that's your business. I'm offering you a way out the other side. All right. Suppose I talk to this uh, commission. Then what? A law goes on the books, and I guarantee it'll be enforced. Yeah, and I'm still in solitary confinement the rest of my life. But at least you won't go in there blind. Well, 
What about Maria, my kid, huh? Wherever she wants to go, I give you my personal guarantee that she will get there safely with a new name, a new passport, and enough money for the rest of her life. Think it'll really happen? What do you think I've been after, Balachi? Everything you say has tremendous implications for the Justice Department, for the country itself. You can make a break, Joe, not only for everybody else, but for yourself. You can get out of it. When do I take the back? Tomorrow. Okay, Ryan. Looks like you're on. See you later. When did you become a member of this organization? 1930. 1930. What's the name of it? Cosa Nostra. Did it in Italian? Cosa Nostra in Italian. I think that it's an important question that there is no particular pattern which would make you feel that crime is in any way a problem associated with those of Italian extraction. Senator, I'm not talking about Italians. I'm talking about the mob. Continue. He gave me this uh, piece of paper, Mr. Burnett. Demonstrate what you did. Those are not the words I took, this piece of paper. And it's uh, burning. It's lighted in your hand. And that was symbolic of the fate that was to befall you if you betrayed the organization? Senator, what I'm telling you, what I'm exposing to you, to the press and to everybody, this is the promise I'm breaking. Even if I talked, it, it's, uh, I couldn't Hey, tell Ryan, you. this thing's fabulous. They're trying to make a monkey out of it. I hope they nail his ass ten times over. We're after headlines, for God's sake. They're after votes. So, Genovese was your godfather. Godfather is different. When you, uh, when you go to the church, you baptize a baby. This is godfather. The sworn testimony you have just heard came from the lips of Joseph Valachi, lips that were supposedly sealed more than 33 years ago when he joined the Cosa Nostra. But today, before a nationally televised Senate hearing, the 60-year-old convicted burglar, dope peddler, and murderer talked in such a way that he seemed to draw the sympathy of the crowd and the crime committee. Balachi said he was talking because he wanted to, but it's possible that he is talking to protect himself from his syndicate boss, Vito Genovese, who had ordered him killed as an informer. But how safe do you feel? How I feel now, right now. How safe do you feel? Now, at this moment, yes, I feel fine. How would you feel if you were back in prison? I would have to protect myself against them, Senator. I would have to kill them or be killed. Now, would it be fair to say that if you went back to prison, that you would be a dead man? If they got to me, I wouldn't be in prison five minutes. Two. Now here we show you the Genovese family, broken down into its various units, demonstrating the wide range. Listen carefully. A hundred thousand dollars for Joe Valachi. Clear, sir. Cheer you up. Which would make you feel that crime is in any way a problem associated with those of Italian extraction. Senator, I'm not talking about Italians. I'm talking about the mob. I took this piece of paper and it's uh, burning. It's lighted in your hand. That was the mark of the fate that would befall you if you betrayed the organization. Senator, what I'm telling you, what I'm exposing to you, to the press and to everybody.
time to see it all. You were lucky. It's kind of ridiculous. Like a bad comic strip, that's what it was. I'll see you. Okay, I'll take care of you. Come on, buddy. Move over. We gave him some letters from his wife, and he just tore them up. Look. You know he was in a depressed state. Why wasn't he given sedation? Look, Mr. Ryan, I can't have a doctor, a psychiatrist, and 24 guards watching your canary for the rest of his life. I know you can't. I'm sorry. Wait a minute. He'll be all right. He's as strong as a bull. As soon as he feels better, take him down to the infirmary. All right, doctor, I will. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, Joe. Let me give you a hand. Take it easy. Get over on the bed. Come on. Let me Christ, don't look to me for any more alternatives. You got burned, Ryan. You wanted the law, but they wanted a gangster story. I thought maybe you had something better. I admit I've been had all along. Yeah, well, you weren't the only one. I've been taken, too. Believe me, Joe, I'm sorry. Well, it's like you said. the rest of my days in prison, but I don't go in blind. Anytime you want to come visit, we'll crawl together. Well, at least you get Genovese on the run. Here he's got a hundred thousand dollars out for you. Anybody else, it would be a million. Genovese, he's a cheap guy. <laughs> Show you. You know what you almost just did? Yeah. No, no, you almost took your own contract. If you had committed suicide, that bastard wouldn't have had to shell out a nickel. Hey, Ryan, you scored 100%. Listen, Joe, I'm going to keep you alive just to spite that part. Yeah, and that's not a bad reason to live. Sheer spite. Joe, let's get you to the infirmary. Uh, okay. I say you're not. Guy! First thing we do is get you back in shape. I'll have you move, Joe. Somewhere in the country. I'll handpick the guards myself, Joe. Make sure none of those country bastards ever gets at you again. That's got to be the one thing I do, Joe. Make sure you live long after Genovese's dead and gone. <laughs> 